Mason Mount, I'm 19 and I'm a midfielder. I'm from Portsmouth. It's not too far, it's down south by the beach. But yeah, I love it down there. I've spent probably most of my life in, in London, being in and around the training ground and growing up always in Portsmouth. I think my style is kind of like an attacking midfielder. Maybe a 10, but I, I like playing in the eight. Doing the other part of the game as well, where you can go forward and attack, but to do the defensive side as well. Chelsea first spotted me when I was six, so that's pretty young. And I think that was too young, you, you sign when you're eight. And then when I was eight, I signed and then been here ever since. I moved full time, I think 14. That's when we go full time and do schooling and move in with house parents as well. So for me, it, was, it wasn't a massive change. More for my mum and dad, I think that was probably the hardest thing. Obviously having a young child move away from home and, and going and live with two strangers that I've never met. I think my mum cried when I left. I was just focused on football and it was the best move for me to come up here, stay with house parents, be in and around the football ground and the house parents I was with, I was with them for two years and it was, they were so welcoming and I've got a great relationship with them now. When I first come to the club, definitely Lamps. Always looked up to him and the way he plays as me being a midfielder and he wanted to score a lot of goals and make a lot of assists, I think. To look at him, he's the perfect role model for me. The way he scores goals, the way he can get forward and do the defensive side of the game as well. He does everything, so yeah, I've always looked up to him. I looked at Beckham a lot, Ronaldo as well when he was in the Premier League. I was actually at the Man United Portsmouth game at Old Trafford when he scored that free kick. And then after that, I was like, okay, now I've got to learn to take free kicks. I think my family and they have a massive impact. My granddad always come to training when I was younger and my mum and dad always come into the games when they can, especially when I was out last year in Holland. I think you miss your family, you miss the feeling of being home, the beach. It's just, I've always grown up around there. So for me, when I was out in Holland, it was just, I was just focusing on football. So yeah, I tried not to think about all the other stuff. I just straight football, try and do the best as I can. When I'm off the pitch, I'm kind of quiet, just go about my own business. But yeah, when I'm on the pitch, you go into a different mindset. You have to fight, you have to win every battle you have, and it's all about winning. When you're on the pitch, it's totally different. It's, say if you're playing against a friend you know, it's not a friendship on the pitch, it's a battle. So you definitely change from being off the pitch and on the pitch. I think a lot of the older players that have won the FA Youth Cup say that's something that they're never going to forget. Unbelievable journey, something that I will never forget. To win it two times on, on the bounce when I've been involved, unbelievable memories for me. And especially the last one being captain and playing quite have a big role within the team and my squad as well. So as a captain as well to step up on it in a big game, the memories you have from that is going to stick with me forever. Yeah. I think it's a different feeling to the Youth Cup. It's the whole of Europe, massive teams, Barcelona, Real Madrid, they've all been in it. And to, to win that is obviously massive for the club. The year before I went away to Vitesse, I was living with Jared, one of the keepers. It kind of set me up and I was ready to move out there and, and be on my own, cooking for myself, looking after myself. Obviously moving away from the club, something I've never done before. So I was kind of worried about what would happen when I was out there. I think letting your football do the talking is probably the main thing and I think I had a slow start at the beginning where I wasn't playing as much as I would wanted to and then when I got into the team I just tried to keep my place and started scoring a couple of goals and, and getting some assists so yeah it was good in the end. I got 14 goals, 10 assists, I think I scored four free kicks last season. So yeah that's something that I work on and something that means a lot to me. If I can catch a keeper off guard that's something that I, I want to do yeah. We've got some man and matches, I think that definitely helps to show what I've been doing out there to the people back home and that was probably the best thing I could do is just perform and play the, the season for, for any team you're involved in, that's a massive honour. But yeah, I just I didn't really expect it because I, I didn't play as many games as some of the other players I've, I've played. I think the fans kind of warmed to me being a young player coming into their team and just trying to do as best as I can for them and working hard for them. And I think it was in quite of a big moment as well, we was in the playoffs to get back into the Europa League. It was away as well on, on the 3G pitch. I think when I got my first goal, I should have scored before my first goal, I hit the post. So I was quite frustrated about that. And I was just saying to myself, right, you've got to make up for that. Next chance I had, I scored. Then the next chance I scored, and then I had a free kick and I scored that. So probably at that moment, I was, my luck was on my side. I 
I was in Holland and it was like 11.30 at night, I was in bed and I got a phone call from my under 19s England manager and I left it, I didn't answer it. And then Neil Barr from, from Chelsea called me. So I was like, what's going on here? Like something must be going on. And I called my dad, I was like, do you know what's going on? He's like, no, no, I don't know, call him back. So I called my England manager back and he just said, um, yeah, I've just been on the phone to, to Gareth Southgate. He wants you to come, come in and train for four days. And I was just pretty speechless, really. I didn't, I was just like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Last season when I've been in Holland, I think that helped towards Gareth spot and me. And, and when I went out there and trained, I've just tried my best. And the financial logo was there. And obviously I know him, Roofs was there as well. So kind of spending a lot of time with them. And they were just so welcoming to me. And when I got into the training, I think it took me like 10 minutes to get up to speed because it was so quick. And then after that, I was fine, yeah, into training and loved it. Yeah. And then I got back to the dressing room and had loads of messages and phone calls saying, oh, just seen the press conference, what Gareth said about you. And when the first team England manager spotted me and has recognised what I've been doing, I just need to keep working hard and keep playing games and hopefully keep progressing. Yeah. So I was away with uh, England when Nike approached about the trip to Russia. He was going to go to one of the first England game and something that I've never experienced being in around the World Cup. Going to a World Cup game, I've never done that, so I think there's a lot of new stuff coming out, so just watch out for that, yeah. We went to the BBC studios and then Shira actually showed us around, so that was just like, what's going on here? <laughs> he asked us a couple questions and I did, um, I think it's the VT, read some stuff out on, on the camera. Good experience for us. always put me up as a very grounded boy and never let me get ahead of myself. For me, it's, I, I just love playing football, so I don't really worry about anything else, just playing football and that's what I focus on. And my mum and dad have always said, just focus on football, you don't need to worry about anything else. I love playing for Chelsea and it's a massive club and a club that I've supported when I was young. And I think it's the best club in England to come as a young kid and progress through the stages. The whole philosophy around the club and obviously the facilities are unbelievable and you get that from, from when you're young to throughout the ages. I think my goal is I want to play for Chelsea Football Club and that's definitely a massive goal of mine. I want to win a World Cup. <laughs> Times are changing and we've definitely got a massive opportunity coming up that we can do that. All the England teams have been winning and have been doing very well. I think I want to win the Premier League, that's obviously massive as well. So win quite a lot of trophies and, and playing big teams. Yeah. I think you have to be very dedicated to football. I think when I was younger, a lot of the people I know, a lot of friends, was always going to parties and I was never the one to do that. I was always at home because I had training the next day. So I was never going out. You've got to want to do it. That's something I think. I think when you're younger, you enjoy football a lot and you've got, got to enjoy it. got to play with a smile on your face. But the dedication part is massive. Yeah. For more videos click here and to subscribe click here.